I'm recording this review for a number of reasons, and I want to go over a couple of them right now. I love horror. If you subscribe to my channel, yes, I love MCU films. I love horror films, but believe it or not, I love other genres, and I want to talk about one particular film in this genre today. And secondly, I know this film may not be your bag, but I want to share with you why I love this film so much, why it means a lot to me, and why I've been obsessed with it for the past couple of years. Believe it or not, one of my favorite decades in filmmaking is the 70s. In my opinion, that decade, a lot of directors had balls. They didn't care about offending anybody or hurting anybody's feelings. They were telling stories as graphically as they wanted to. And one of my favorite genres in the 70s is exploitation films, specifically British horror sexploitation films. For example, The Wicker Man, the House of Ripcord, and Virgin Witch. Betty will be initiated tonight. I love this film. Just like the 80s, these films are heavily set in themes of sexuality and violence, but in a foreign eye perspective, which I appreciate. And that takes us to The Love Witch. There was one night, I believe sometime in October of 2020, I'm just scrolling through Amazon Prime and there I see the thumbnail. And first off, the vision is beautiful and striking because it just felt very foreign and very old. I'm like, what is this film? Is this something made from the 70s, 60s? What is this? I love that drama. Let me take a look at this. And as the film starts, I'm a little confused. I'm looking at it. I'm thinking, wow, they did a great restoration job on this film, thinking it was made in the early 70s. And once I got past that, I'm like, no, it looks new. Is this a, this feels like a Tarantino film. And from that moment on, I was hooked. Now, what is a love witch about? It's pretty simple. Elaine, a young, beautiful witch, is determined to find a man to love her. To help her in her quest, she actually makes spells and potions and picks up men and seduces them with these spells. But some of these spells are a little too strong, and a lot of these men in the film have never confronted to true feelings of love so i love the contradiction there and a lot of them end up dying <laughs> the film is written and directed by the amazing anna biller who's also the director of the short film a visit from the incubus in my guilty pleasure vita you're not only a whore you're a filthy lesbian what I especially love about Viva is that this film feels like it's from the 70s. And for a director to capture that with a limited budget is a huge accomplishment. I admire that talent and that vision. According to IMDb, while Anna Biller was writing the script for The Love Witch, she had been reading relationship self-help books. And one particular piece of advice that stuck out to her was that if a woman wants to keep a man around, she should love him less than he loves her. And that's when she noticed a parallel between this advice and the female characters of classic cinema. She specifically mentions a character, Ellen, in the film Leave Her to Heaven in 1945. So she decided to create a character named Elaine in the same vein, which is brilliant. Similar to what Pearl did last year, the Love Witch plays tribute to the Technicolor genre of films. Both films allow a female lead to explore their sexuality through violence. But The Love Witch goes a little bit further with intoxication, seduction, and manipulation. I love it. There have been many women to claim that this is their female Joker. Though the circumstances are not identical, but it's a person who's been taken advantage of other people and now is turned evil. And you root for them. As a man, I have to say that I find the love witch thought-provoking, seducing, and intriguing. And I totally credit Annabella for doing this because once the film starts, I couldn't take my eyes off it. It's shot in an old-fashioned way, and it stands out, and it's incredibly beautiful. When you compare it to what we've seen over the past 20 years, there's nothing that looks like it. And one of the major things that I appreciate about this film is that it explores the gender roles and power dynamics between men and women and flips it. Elaine's character is a powerful and confident woman who uses her sexuality to get what she wants. That alone brings up tons of conversations. But she also struggles with the expectations of what a woman's supposed to be and the limitations of that role that society has put upon her. The film raises a lot of important questions about love. And if you think about it, the word love is a powerful word. And we have to be careful sometimes with who we say that to. And when we say it, because what it means to you could mean something totally different to that person. It touches on the objectification of women and also speaks to loving people and having affairs with others that you should not have and the consequences of those affairs. And that's what I love about The Love Witch is that people who watch this film and who enjoy filmmaking walk away with a different interpretation of what they saw. It's like a painting. It's totally subjective. And that's what I find beautiful about this. It took Anna Biller years to make this film. Everything you see in this particular shot, all the painting, she did herself. This scene with Elaine laying on this rug, she could not find a rug anywhere on the internet, so she made that rug herself. 
And I absolutely love that passion because, again, one thing I love and respect with anybody, I don't care if it's art, music, or film, I appreciate directors who have a passion for what they do and they're giving it their all. In every frame, in every scene, in every shot, you can see Anna Biller's passion in it. And I can't wait to see more films that she does. And I can't continue the review without mentioning the beautiful Samantha Robinson. My God. In the classic Hollywood style of beauty, she owns every cell and every frame of this film. Her performance is so amazing. The New Yorker ranked her 29 in the best performances of the century. And I see these male characters who fall for her in the film. And I'm like, yeah, I would have too. Yeah, I would have died. But so what? I'd be fine with that. (laughs) you sympathize with her because of her pain in her past you don't justify her actions but you understand and you're actually rooting for her i am absolutely obsessed with this film and i hope i conveyed in this video why i am it's just a beautiful film to watch from a filmmaking standpoint if you love filmmaking if you're a fan of film setting up a shot and looking at the background and just looking at absolutely every detail anna biller executed to make this film it's a beautiful thing to watch and a beautiful film to see while it's not for everybody if you're into that type of genre and if you're into filmmaking itself i highly recommend the love witch it's one of my all-time favorite films and i hope you enjoyed my review on the love witch like i said i've been wanting to do this oh my god since 2020 and it just took me forever to convey my thoughts and passion in words and i hope i executed that in a good way that you understood why i loved it But if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and hit subscribe and also leave some comments. I want to know, have you seen this film? What are your thoughts? And did you love it? Did you hate it? Let me know. And as always, thank you for watching Gen X Reviews. Good night.